We're testing the Hornady XTP in 357 SIG. This is the 147 grain variety. And at this point in time, this is about the only factory load 147 grain that I'm finding in 357 SIG. Now I'm aware of the fact that Double Tap and other companies are loading the 357 SIG in 147 grain and usually at some pretty good velocities. Speaking of velocities, Hornady's advertised on this as 1,225 feet per second. And if you compare that to its 9 millimeter cousin, in 147 grain that's going to be about 20 percent faster than the norm those are usually coming in around 940 950 maybe up to 1050 feet per second in a so-called plus p loading for nine millimeter now my five shot average out of the four inch barrel glock 32 is coming in at 1180 feet per second so just a little bit less and you may already know this about the xtp bullet itself it is a controlled expansion design designed to come in around one and a half times the original diameter. So if you're looking for uh, one inch expansion and so forth on this, not likely to get it. Now we're going to try this in the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs with the Glock 32. Test distance of 10 feet and we'll have four layers of denim over the block. Excellent shot placement, and it's inside the block. As I'm trimming the excess off the block and working down toward where I think the bullet path is, I'll cut that in half. So this is the left side of that half and where we're going to focus. Expansion starts about half an inch to three quarters in. We have a little bit of a stretch cavity here. Now it is cutting deep. That's over half an inch in depth, and again, that's uh, just one side of this block. Right now, we're at the three inch mark. The stretch cavity is not as impressive as the 124 or 125 grain 357 SIG. This is just a lot less energy, but we would hope to get better penetration with this heavier bullet. So we are cutting through here. You can see that is making uh, some pretty deep pretty deep cuts in this media. Then the bullet settles down and again we have a controlled expansion bullet so we're not going to have a real big uh, gap or cavity all the way through here. So moving on and where are we now? There's the bullet by the way and it is coming in at 16 and 7 eighths inches. It did not turn up or down as is the case in some of these tests. It pretty much plowed straight forward and from this perspective you can see that it did expand but not by a whole lot. Before we get this cleaned up for measurements, you can see that there is some denim in the remnants of that hollow point cavity. Carried it all the way through the path, but it did not prevent this from expanding. There's one of the expansion points. The average is .501. Very little deviation between the measured points, and that's coming in spec. They were saying 1.5 times the diameter, and we're coming in at 1.4 times the diameter. I have already uncovered some lead fragments in the bullet path and might find some others as I melt and recast the media. We're coming in at 143.7 grains. This heavy for caliber offering in 357 SIG has excellent penetration characteristics, at least in this test. This is controlled environment and a specific media, so keep that in mind. It has good expansion qualities. It is within spec. It's not going to have the energy displacement that you're going to see in a 124 or 125 grain 357 SIG load, but that should be expected. Nonetheless, I think this brings some good qualities to the table. Thanks for watching.